Hi everyone, this is Ur. It's been a while since I've recorded my last video and it feels nice to be here again. I've been working on this project as a freelancer for I guess three or four days and it was basically a standalone web app that people can create sticky notes but the client wanted me to convert it to Chrome extension so that people can create a sticky notes on every page. I can actually show a demo. So you can see that I'm on google.com and I can create notes. I can type something and put it there. It will stay there. When I come back to here, I will see that note again and I can put some images, etc. Anyway, I don't want to talk about the project too much, but it was a fun thing to work on. I have learned so many things and I actually converted this project into a monorepo so that I was able to use the same components that we are using in the web app inside a Chrome extension. You can see that and it was beautiful experience. And you can also see that I'm able to see my notes in a Chrome extension. So it's not a web app, right? Anyway, but I will make another video about uh, Monorepos. It's so powerful and it's so easy to maintain. In my opinion, I will like to talk about it a bit. But let's go back to our topic right now. The client required a feature that users will be able to add images. In the initial version of the app, a user wasn't able to add anything, uh, just text. And it was as a text area rather than a rich text component as we have right now. I have just removed that part and decided to use a rich text editor and I choose Plate.js which is an open source, customizable, uh, rich text components. If you haven't checked out this package, you should definitely check it out. One of my favorite YouTube channels, I totally forgot his name, but he recommended TipTap as a, as a rich text editor in his recent video. And let me tell you, this is not free. Only on a few things are free and free to use. If you want to use emoji or, or I'm not sure which, which ones are paid, but some of the features are paid. In the contrary, GS is fully free and open source. I believe it's a great package and I will also make another uh, video about this, how to set up, how to use it. And finally, let's go back to our issue. So I realized something as I drag this around, as you can see, it's lagging, right? And I've got an error. It says maximum update that exceeded. It usually happens if you have an infinite loop, you change a state in a use effect, but this, uh, this state thing is in the dependency array, so it causes an infinite loop, but it doesn't frozen. It's just a lagging, right? But there is definitely something wrong with it. But I was also sure that it was because of the rich text editor that I have put uh, because we didn't have this issue earlier when we used a text area. So that was the main thought of mine. And also when I checked log here, I see that we get an error in note note, which I have this rich text component here inside a comp inside this component. And if I log something here inside note note and move this around, as you can see, it mounts again and again. Why is that so? It's because it takes some props that is changing, for example, dragging and selected, which was causing our rich text editor remount again and again, even though nothing has, has changed really. So let me show my changes that fixes the issue. It's, it's really easy. I have removed all the things, all, the, all these components that builds the rich text editor and move them into a, a component, separate component, plate editor in our cases. And I needed to give some props to it since we needed to use inside our editor. When I take a look at the plate editor, this is the same code as before, but the only thing I have done was that wrapping this component with a memo. What it does is memoize the props. And if they don't change, this component won't be re-rendered. Let me show it to you. If I get rid of this memo and move this around, as you can see, 
even while I'm dragging, it just remounts the rich text editor, which is a relatively heavy package because of the plugins we are using. And it was causing the issue, as you can see. And when I wrap this with a memo, it will memoize this component as long as the props are not changing. So you see that we no longer see a plate editor in our console. It's because it's not mounted again and again. Let's make an experiment. I will go to note node and I will pass an example ID like this and I will make it a state like this. And once this component mounts, I will create a set interval with an interval of one second. And I will say set example ID mat random blah blah. So it will create a random ID and assign it to example ID, which we are passing it to our plate editor, which will cause this ID to change. And hopefully we will see that uh, this memo won't memoize the component. It's because the, the props will be changed. So let's see. Even now, as long as the ID changes, this plate editor component just re-renders as you can see. But while, but if I drag this around, we don't see it will cause like too many re-renders, right? It re-renders only its props are changing, which in our cases, the ID is changing with an interval of one second. That's why it's still fine. But uh, I wanted to show this case that when, when the prop changes, a use memo doesn't work anymore. But it's nice to see such a thing. Anyway, this was Ur. I hope this was helpful to you. See you in the next videos. I will talk about Monorepos and Plate.js, which is a great rich text editor in the next videos. If you also like to see some freelancing contents, I have been working on, on Upwork doing full stack development for a while. Just let me know and I will record more videos about it, how you can start it, how you can find customers and how you can talk with them. Anyway, I would like to help you with this uh, freelancing stuff as well, but I'm not sure if you are into it. Let me know in the comments. Take care. Bye bye.